Hello everyone, welcome to your daily affirmations for Tuesday, October the 15th, 2019. Thank you all for being here and let's see what the energy has for us for this beautiful uh, day and get ourselves started in our positive mode. Thank you angels, archangels, divine pure white light, divine spirits, spirit guides, gods and goddesses. Thank you so much for being present here to allow everyone to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and messages, and we receive them in the love and light they are intended. We thank you for your divine guidance as always, and we welcome your presence here. Thank you so much, Divine. Okay, let's see what we've got. I flipped it over. I didn't even mean to do that. My uh, old habits sometime. So, Four of Pentacles and the two down. Four of Pentacles is the universe bringing us into balance uh, with our finances. It is a stable energy and it is a really strong energy. We've got another four. Very strong stability with the Four of Wands. It is stable and communicative. It allows you to have uh, everything lined up in a way that all is grounded in, and in a place of uh, very, very strong four corners. This builds all the, the foundational energy and keep everything from wobbling basically and allowing that the pillars to be built on communication, love, uh, spirituality and, uh, physical abilities as far as physical health and well-being. So let's see what we've got here. Flexibility is our word of the day. I am flexible and adaptable to change while I pursue my ambitions. That is always a bonus to be able to roll with the with the flow and allow yourself to uh, integrate whatever you need to to allow yourself to move with grace in uh, every aspect of being whatever we think uh, it should be. Sometimes it is not. So we get hit with the unexpected sometimes and we have to deal with extra things and uh, being flexible helps you to do that without losing it. Peaceful resolution, basically being flexible allows you to resolve an issue and move forward without it keeping you entrapped in the energy, feeling like something has, uh, has become insurmountable. Uh, if you get caught up in the technical aspects of everything or the the energy of not accepting uh, whatever the new thing is, you can actually start to be self-defeatist. Remembrance. That is so beautiful. Remembrance is the frequency that supports our memory of everything that we've gone through in a, in a soul, as a soul, in a body. Uh, let me just start over. <laughs> The frequency of remembrance supports our memory of everything that we have gone through as a soul in body, providing us with the valuable information and tools to flow gracefully with and in this life. So, this is very strong in the ability of uh, bringing yourself through the challenges and remembering what we faced and how we've worked through problems previously. It does help you to remember the successes and the failures uh, that you don't want to live in, but you do um, allow yourself to realize the, that uh, because it may be useful in another time if you end up having to deal with something similar. You want to know how you dealt with it before. Now, this is our wonderful energy of the uh, Power Thought Cards. I release all criticism. I only give out that which I wish to receive in return. My love and acceptance of others is mirrored to me in every moment. The reflection of yourself and others is very strong. Uh, sometimes when people... Uh, get on your nerves you might want to look more closely at what they're doing 
and why you strike harmony with it in that way. <clears throat> and when I say strike harmony with it, what I mean is um, other people show you your faults on display through their actions. Sometimes uh, we see somebody that reminds us of ourselves, maybe the past where we've grown past that moment or in something that we didn't really see as an issue or something that might cause issue for other people and then we see a blatant display of it and go oh yeah I've done that before or I can tell that person has my old energy uh, but then that also can bring you back to the moment of remembering how far you've come since then and I've had that moment several times in my lifetime so let's see what our we've got the four of pentacles which is very strong financially secure being in a place of foundational energy and stability, which is also the Four of Wands here, the communication with the stability. Then we have the Six of Cups, and the Six of Cups is uh, soul family. This is being a people who go through many lifetimes who will chime in and help you go through whatever you need to learn with in this soul school as we are in this earth school with our beautiful energy of recycled renewal and people who are or souls who are with us in this in this recycling moment allowing them to come through either in spirit where they're guiding us from the other side or in physical reality where uh, they actually show up in your life and you have to uh, understand that you may have some idea who these people are because they feel like you've known them forever then we have the eight of cups and the eight of cups is allowing yourself to finish up where you are now with what you have and then move forward so this is looking at the long picture the the long shot letting yourself see the entire picture but realizing when you finish one cycle a new one begins and this is showing the fruition of what you've done all the completion of the cups they're all lined up and now being able to walk forward and uh, start something new so this is a really strong um, energy of allowing yourself to move forward allowing yourself to uh, see in others the things that you do like and the things that you don't like about yourself and the lessons you've learned in this lifetime. So remember, everyone is on their own little timed journey, and uh, they may they may be in a different place than you at this current moment, but it doesn't mean that they, you weren't in that place at one time or another. So be kind to each other. Remember that everything is resolvable, and especially with um, with flexibility and uh, allowing yourself to have the eyes of the Buddha okay at letting yourself see with grace rather than with judgment so give give yourself that same uh, treatment be able to be gracious to yourself even in your flaws even in the moments of of weakness and uh, knowing that your heart will guide you and you can do better if you choose better and uh, once you do that you choose because that's more knowledge that you had than you did a few minutes ago or a few months ago or whenever this action was that you're you're now going oh maybe I shouldn't have done it that way or maybe I, I wish I would have known better well you do now and this is where the change happens in the now so many blessings to you all have a wonderful day namaste